Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. I told you I might be back today, and here I am. I forgot to do this earlier. Today, Friday, September 13th, is my wife's birthday. So I want to say happy birthday to my wife's. Um, anyways, so... Um, for those of you lucky enough not to watch the Democrat debate last night, you uh, were able not to hear the bullshit... Um, come out of pretty much everybody's mouth. Everybody up there is an ignorant, ignorant person. It, it just shows more and more that their brains, I think they're full of helium and there's nothing else in there. It's just, you know, when you suck on a helium balloon, you, go, eh, you talk all squeaky. Well, I think that's what's going on in their brains because that's what it sounds like coming out. Moron, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit coming out of my mouth. That's what it sounds like to me. Beto O'Rourke gets up on stage and he basically told everybody, guess what? I'm taking your guns. That's my policy. Screw you, Second Amendment. Screw you, American people. Screw you. You're not going to have the right to defend yourself because I'm going to take your guns. And he said last night, that he's going to take the AR, our AR-15s, AK-47s, and uh, confiscate them. He called it a buyback. Well, first of all, jackass, the government doesn't sell guns. Private sellers sell guns. or li And licensed firearms people sell guns. So they would have to buy them back. The federal government is buying, buying back what? Nothing. And where are they going to get the money for it? I don't know. Raise your taxes. If you're uh, if you're if you're Andrew Yang, you just giving out a thousand dollars to everybody in the in the country. So there goes that buyback plan. He's giving out a thousand bucks. How are you gonna get me? How are you gonna pay me for my AR-15? That was a thousand bucks. It's a mystery. It's a mysterious world we live in with these. I I, I don't know where these people came from. H how they got elected. I, I don't understand. They have no common sense. It's like they're all in the car. They're all like, hey, they're all bobblehead dolls. It, it, complete morons. Every one of them. So Beto O'Rourke gets up there and says, hey, I'm taking your guns. Are you kidding me? And then he calls an AR-15 an assault rifle. Your AR-15, it's an assault rifle. I'm taking it all. Why is it an assault rifle? Because it says AR. That means assault rifle to you? No. It doesn't stand for a it's AR does not stand for assault rifle. It stands for Armalite rifle. Armalite was the company that developed the AR-15 back in the late 50s, early 60s, before the Vietnam War. Maybe it was early 60s, before the Vietnam War. And then they sold it to Colt. Colt said, I want it. We're buying it. So then Colt manufactured it, and they sold it to the military as that M16, which was made fully automatic by the military. That, in my opinion, is an assault weapon that we can't buy. The American citizens haven't been able to buy assault weapons or military-style weapons since, like, what, 1985, 86, something like that, when they uh, put that ban on. Again, the lovely state of California instigated all that crap. But no, an AR-15 does not stand for assault rifle. It is a hunting rifle. It is a 223 round. An AK-47 is a 5.56 round. That's a little bigger. Still. You can make an AR-47 an, uh, AK a semi-automatic uh, uh, rifle. There's no... You can't buy an AK-47 with fully automatic capabilities. Um, an a uh, AR-15 is semi-automatic, just like a handgun is semi-automatic, unless it's a revolver, which is not semi-automatic. So all that means is it's it will fire around as fast as you pull your finger. Bang, 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 bang. And then you run out of bullets. Because there's, guess what? Magazine, uh, bullet limitations in your magazines. My magazine can only hold 20, or it can only hold 10. Such bullshit. So no, Mr. Jackass O'Rourke, you're not going to take our AR-15s 
or our AK-47s, or our handguns, or whatever else you want to take from us. Not going to happen. You know what? I knew a guy who had a freaking howitzer in his lawn. I'm not sure what the millimeter round it was that it fired at one point. Obviously, the guy wasn't firing freaking artillery shells off. He used it every year on, like, you know, Memorial Day, July 4th, uh, Veterans Day, um, and, and, you know, holidays like that. And he would just put in, like, some black powder and boom, blast it off. And guess what? He could do it legally. Every year he did it. I want a howitzer. That would be awesome. I want to stick one of those in my front lawn. Put it right next to my, put it right next to a flagpole. Boom! Happy 4th of July, people. This is a great day. Boom! Happy Memorial Day. Thanks for your service. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. But no, this guy wants to take away every single weapon and buy them back, as he said. The government doesn't, like I said, you can't buy anything that you didn't sell. Just showing their stupidity yet again. I think that's, I don't know, that's the, that's the one thing that really got under my skin last night. It really stood out because as a gun owner, I'm not giving you shit. And, you know, the argument, oh, well, when the Constitution was written, they were using muskets. O okay. So what does that mean? That was the technology they had back then. Now we have better technology. We have better ways to defend ourselves. So you're, you're using the argument of, well, a musket is not as powerful as a 9mm. Actually, a musket is a 50 caliber ball. So it's a little bit more powerful and a little bit more destructive if it hits you. Not accurate at all, but still, it's a bigger caliber round. Again, these people are complete idiots and they have no idea what they're talking about. <sighs> I feel a little bit better than I got that out. Just kind of... Came out, flew out of my being. Anyways, that's what I got right now. I think I think that's my, my last video for today. Who knows? There's all kinds of bullshit coming out. Amy McKay bullshit. <clears throat> that's next on the list. Because that guy's that guy's going to jail. I hope he gets indicted. Anyways, that's a that's a story for maybe tomorrow's video. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the bell icon <clears throat> so you know when more videos are coming. Hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the conservative patriot team check out that teespring link below for conservative patriot gear if you like and always remember to stay on the right side talk to you guys soon